Hello, YouTube community. It's Robert S. And welcome back to Rob's Gear Music, where I hope to introduce you or reacquaint you with lesser known artists and or, and or albums that are out there in the musical universe. So today I want to talk to you about Scott Bradley's Postmodern Jukebox, or as it's more commonly known, simply PMJ. And PMJ is not a band per se, but rather a musical collective that was formed by Scott in uh, 2011. And how this all began is that Scott Bradley, who was a, a struggling New York City um, jazz musician, a pianist, he um, actually posted a video where he did a medley of 1980s hits in a ragtime style. And that video took off. It became very popular and he knew he was onto something here. So what PMJ does is, like I said, it's not a band with defined or, or set number of, of members. They have musical guests. They have various artists as um, lead singers on their songs. And um, it, it's a lot of fun to listen to. And honestly, it's probably more fun to watch. What they do is they cover modern music, but they change it up and they do it in a different style. So uh, it, it, it's somewhat along the lines of say Weird Al Yankovic who would take popular music and he would rewrite the lyrics. What PMJ is doing is they're leaving the song's lyrics alone, but they're changing the musical style. So you can have a modern popular song and they might do it in, um, let's say, a swing style or ragtime. It's typically the early 20th century, you know, swing, jazz, uh, ragtime type of music. And in the videos, everyone is typically well-dressed, you know, suits, ties, uh, dresses. And often the lead singer is in period costume. So if they're doing something that's in swing style, They'll, they'll be wearing, you know, um, costumes or, or attire that's appropriate for that period. And I say the videos are, are fun to watch because you, you kind of never know what's going to happen in some of these things. Sometimes they have somebody in period costume. Sometimes they have several people. They may have people tap dancing. Uh, they have, um, in a couple of videos, Puddles Pity Party, and if you're familiar with Piddle, Puddles Pity Party, <laughs> that's hard to say, say that three times fast. Uh, if you're familiar with that artist, he's basically a seven foot sad clown with a golden voice. Uh, he actually was on American Idol uh, as a contestant, as were actually a few of the people who are regulars in PMJ. You've got um, Haley Reinhardt, who was on uh, American Idol, uh, Casey Abrams, and I'm sure there are others who I'm not thinking of at this moment. But so they've got this sort of revolving door, if you will, of, of musical accompaniment. You've got different musicians, you've got different lead singers, and each song and each style is, is unique. And um, y you've got... Basically, and, and, and what they do with their videos is like he would, he, he basically started out doing it in his own home, I think in his living room. Um, and then the sets got a little bit more elaborate. And some of the sets are very, very basic, very simple. They're in a room. There might be, you know, a, a little stage or, or something set up for somebody to tap dance on. Um, they do different styles of music, you know, it could be soul, it could be bluegrass. It's just so much fun to listen to. So, um, and, and just as an example, uh, just so you get an idea of what I'm, I'm talking about. And I will play some of the, the songs later on, um, very soon actually. Um, but to give you an idea, they, they might take something like Abba's Dancing Queen and do it as sort of a you know hot jazz number. 
uh, they'll take U2's I Still Haven't Found What I'm Looking For and do a soul version of it. Uh, what else have they done? Oh, uh, the White Stripes, uh, Seven Nation Army. They basically do that in sort of a vintage New Orleans type style. Um, but again, so, so much fun. And they've been doing it for quite a while. They've got many, many albums that they've released. As a matter of fact, they re probably released between 2011 and maybe 2019, they released three, four, maybe even five albums a, a year. Uh, again, because this is not a band that's writing its own music or Weird Al who has to rewrite the lyrics. They're just taking songs as they are and changing this, the musical style. So they're able to produce a lot. And, and at, at one point they were producing so much that they were doing regular YouTube videos. And that's kind of how I got involved in PMJ. I, I didn't you know hear the music on the radio or buy an album or see an album in the store or anything. Um, going down that, that YouTube uh, you know rabbit hole, I came across Postmodern Jukebox, started watching it. And like I said, it was just so much fun. So I don't have any albums to show you, but they do have quite a few num uh, quite a few albums. They actually have like a greatest hits collection. They have I think it's called The Essentials, which was released in twenty fifteen or sixteen. I think it was twenty sixteen, and in twenty eighteen, The Essentials two. And honestly, if you enjoy PMJ, watch them on YouTube right here on YouTube, or if you want to get their music, get the each of those, those CD sets for the Essentials and the Essentials 2, and you'll have a great collection of PMJ music. So why don't we take a listen to the music now, and I'll see you on the other side. Everybody get up! If you can hear what I'm trying to say
brother play the right music while I get in the swing and you look for the king. Anybody could be that guy. Night is young and the music high. A little bit of jazz music. Some tags, only got twenty dollars in my pocket. I, I, I'm hunting, looking for a come up. This is freaking awesome. Walking through the club, I quit up. I'm such a big shot. I'm so pumped about the swag from the thrift shop. I saw my friend, it's old damn frosty. That people like, damn, that's a cold ass honky. Rolling in hella deep, heading to the mezzanine. Dressed on pink, said my gator shoes, old green. Draped in a leopard mink, girl standing next to me. Probably should have washed this, cause it smells like our Kelly sheets. Through my mind, behind a 
So that's the uh, music of PMJ. And I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, and like I said before, as much fun as it is to listen to, it's even more fun to watch. So please go check out their, their um, YouTube videos. And um, I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, just don't spend so much time that you forget to come back to my channel and <laughs> watch my videos. Uh, anyway, stay well, friends. And remember, if the music strikes a chord, let it play.